Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a little Zara haul. Now this is it's quite a reserved Zara haul for me. Normally I go a bit wild and things get a bit out of hand. I don't feel like that's happened at the moment. Zara for me isn't quite hitting the mark this autumn, but there were a couple of bits that I saw online and I was like... I really want to pick those up. I've got a trip to London coming up. I'm really excited for and a couple of bits in this order kind of like for that, but also bits that I felt were really missing from my wardrobe. I've been looking back through past outfit photos recently and there are just a couple of bits that I was like, oh, I don't have anything like that anymore. And actually I feel like that's really missing. So I am excited to show you those today. So I'm going to get started with something that you guys may have already seen in a vlog. If you watch the vlogs, you kind of get a little bit of a sneak peek sometimes. So always worth giving a watch if you're new here. But I picked up the shirt and I've been absolutely loving it. I have a like white, almost like tweed texture one that I got this time last year. And honestly, it's been such a staple in my wardrobe all year round. I have absolutely loved it. And I saw this one and it's the same like lightweight material. Like it's just very thin but perfect for this time of year perfect for like layering under other things during the winter perfect for like summertime with a little pair of shorts these shirts are real great staples in my wardrobe and i feel like they're one of those items that actually suits me not just one of those items that i go through a phase of wearing but one that i'm actually like yeah that works for me that really works for me actually i have one like this already from new look so there is another version out there if like this one sells out there's actually quite a few like this to be honest on the high street at the moment but the new look one is a lot thicker much more of a like a woven material kind of texture whereas this one is a lot more fine it's slightly more delicate it feels a lot more like flexible and lightweight the other one feels more like a jacket whereas this feels a lot more like a shirt. I absolutely love it. It's like very Chanel vibes but without being too tweedy. So it's just kind of like that little nod without being too much. This one actually has a raw hem as well, which I wasn't sure if I liked at first, but actually I think it's really cute. It doesn't really take away from the shirt too much. And then it's just got some really simple silver buttons. It's just such a cute item. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I might actually swap out this for my card again because I'm actually really toasty at the moment. Please hold. Yeah, cute. Love that. Love that. So yeah, this is like one of my favourite items that is like new to my wardrobe at the moment. And yeah, these these kinds of shirts are just real staple items in my wardrobe. So always a good purchase. So this is the shirt jacket. The jacket. Overshirt, whatever you want to call it. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. It is just so nice and lightweight, perfect for this time of year. It's a darker colour, so if you are in the sun, it will like keep you nice and toasty, but it's also light enough that you're not going to be absolutely sweating in it. It's definitely not one to wear as an actual like jacket or coat as we get closer to the winter months, but for now, it is absolutely perfect. I really love it. And it's one of those pieces that I think will work really well in the summer as well if I'm wearing like a little black dress and I want something just to throw over. I use my white overshirt shirt jacket from Zara a lot during the summer I paired it with like white shorts and a nude body it looked so cute so I could definitely do the same but with like a black pair of shorts and like a black body just a really nice easy look and I've just paired it with my white Topshop mom jeans today which are they're very loose on me I really like them because they're actually more of a like not even a mom style on me anymore because of the way that they sit they sit a lot lower down and I really like wearing them with this black Zara cropped t-shirt and I like wearing those two alone I've worn it a lot over the past kind of month or so whilst it's been really warm still and this is like the perfect way to transition it into like more autumnal weather and to finish the look I've just paired all of this with my baby trainers just really nice and easy super simple but it works as like a really nice cute little outfit a really nice one for like every day nothing too dressy but you look pulled cool together still at the same time you could definitely dress this up a little bit if you wanted to for the evening but for me i personally love it for dressing up a very casual outfit during the day it's a really great one to pair with leggings as well and a pair of trainers if you just want to like jazz up a really basic like loungewear outfit so yeah if you want to buy one thing from this video i would say definitely buy this it is honestly it's been a dream to wear i've been wearing it since the order arrived. I absolutely love it. Zara actually have quite a few of these like over shirt, shirt jackets available at the moment. So there's definitely like so many to pick from. And I just really love those. The quality is so good. The next item I'm very excited for. I haven't tried this on yet. And I've been like, literally it's been in the back of my mind since this order arrived. And I've been really, really wanting to try it on, but kind of like saving it for this video. It's this like jumper that's got like a cut out shoulder, but it's a really lovely like cream texture. It's that kind of like yellow tone that Zara like to do, but not like too yellow. I don't think it's coming off on camera at all, which is quite nice actually. I got it in a size small and it was 
99 I got this in a small as well by the way. But yeah, it's just like be a really nice piece for like autumn with a pair of jeans. Really, really simple, but it's like thin enough that I could layer it under things in the winter as well without feeling like I've got too much material kind of like bulking up around my like arm area. I hate that. It's got a round neck, but it's not too high. I think this is going to be a really great piece in my wardrobe. The only thing I would say is it's very small. I would say this is very much like a regular fit, if not like slightly small. It's definitely not an oversized kind of jumper you can kind of see and it looks like it might be a bit cropped as well so we will see how that fits maybe i should have got a medium so i think this knit is a really cute one for the autumn season i just love the little cut out shoulder that it's got going on it's something a bit different i don't already have in my wardrobe i think it's very very cute i'm gonna work with a lot of different items that i own i could see like my white high-waisted jeans looking very cute with this but also my blue denim would also look very cute my white kind of flared Crop jeans would look very cute with this. I've just paired it with my Zara split hem leggings for now, which I also really love. It's just a really nice, easy piece. If you're wearing anything high-waisted, I would say if you don't want to wear it with high-waisted things, then go a size up so it doesn't sit on the waistline. I actually really like where it naturally sits on me and then kind of folds over. I think it's very cute, especially as I wear lots of high-waisted things. It helps to really highlight the shape of my body. But if you did want something that was a bit more slouchy, a little bit more casual, then definitely go a size up. My only request is that I wish they would do this in more colors. I would like it in the color, like the blush kind of nudie tone of the very fine knit in this video. I would love it in that color. And then I would love it in a black. That would be ideal. Maybe even a gray. A gray could look really cute. If not, I've definitely got Another jumper option, picked up this little like cropped black cardigan. One of those really fluffy like knits. I'm not sure if I vibe with that. This is a size small and it was 27.99. No buttons at all, it's just a really simple kind of cardigan to throw on. I thought that would be really cute. Again, with like jeans or with trousers, maybe even over a pair of like leather shorts could maybe be cute, I don't know. I'm gonna see with this one because I wasn't sure. Cardigans are always a bit hit and miss for me. I definitely get more wear out of my like longer cardigans. So we'll see, but it looked really cute on the website. So, so this cardigan is so cute. However, number one, it is so itchy. So itchy. You can kind of see it's that kind of like really fluffy material it's honestly honest to god so itchy and also i really wish it had even just one button just one button i am really sad that it does kind of fall open i still think it looks really cute especially with an all black outfit just like falling open or if i was wearing the same like zara body with a pair of like light blue jeans this would also look really cute however i do wish that you could i know you could tuck it like i could easily tuck it and have it like a little bit more together and i think that would look very cute but i do wish it had a button even if it was like a proper one that you can really see or like a hook just to keep it together i think would just give you a few more like styling options and i'm sad that it doesn't have that also sad because it's so itchy so yeah this one is not going to be it for me but it is such a lovely like shape i love how kind of rounded it is and how cropped it is so so cute but apart from those things the fit is great i would say like the sleeve length is pretty good as well like they're really not too long on the sleeves but like long enough that it feels nice and cozy if you can like stand the itching this is going to be a great one if not stick with it. Oh, these trousers i'm so excited to try on i feel as though it could be an absolute disaster though if i'm very very honest these trousers are like a straight leg trouser and i really want a pair of like leather straight leg trousers but they're so so difficult when you are shorter because the length is always a bit off these i think if i remember rightly looked cropped on the website which i was like yep yeah, goals for me because hopefully they will be okay they're looking a bit long to me so we shall see i have seen another pair that look very 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 cropped so that could also work out in my favor so i might order those if these don't work out but yeah they're meant to be like high rise so fingers crossed that's the leg length I'm working with. Will I be okay? Hmm. I got them in a size small and they were 19 99 I hate trying on trousers in the hall because if they go wrong, they go really wrong. And then I just look like an idiot on the internet and it really bugs me. So fingers crossed. Okay, so these trousers I like. I actually like them a lot. However, I feel like they're really going to divide some opinions. So feel free to go in with yours in the comments. I think especially because of my height, they could hit at like an awkward point for some. I don't really mind it, especially if I'm wearing heels. This kind of length doesn't bother me too much. I think you still get a little bit of elongation with a heel and it doesn't cut you off at a weird point. However, I can see that with my trainers, it might look a little bit jarring. So maybe these are more of a dressy leather trouser option. Although this could work well with sliders, 
I just don't think I'm going to be getting the use out of my sliders. Over the coming months, right now it's still definitely warm enough for that, but in a month or so's time, not so much. In terms of sizing, I got a small, I think I might have told you that in the clip before. I am struggling a little bit in these. I'm not sure I feel confident in sitting down and not busting them open. And that's slightly weird because normally I'm an extra small to a small in the Zara leather leggings. I have pairs that I've literally just bought, which are small and they fit fine. If anything, they're a little bit too loose. So I would say these do run small and if you're unsure or you're in between sizes, definitely go up a size. However, in my experience, the Zara leather leggings do stretch out a lot. So it's a bit of a difficult one in picking your size. These could stretch out, but it definitely is a risk. I am just going to do the little sitting down test. We shall see. Nothing's ripped. Okay. So it could be that these do just need wearing a little bit and then they'll stretch out. I guess it's just personal as to whether you want to do that or not. But I personally would hate to go up size and then they end up looking super baggy and being like too loose around the waist. I think especially if I planned on wearing them more as like a dressy kind of trouser, it's important to me that they fit well around the waist because for an evening occasion or a dressier occasion, I would normally go fitted on the top. Next we have another jumper. This one looked really cute online and I'm really not sure on it now, but we'll try it on together. I think it would be a really great, like easy staple piece to have in my wardrobe. I picked up a few practical essentials for autumn for like layering, that kind of vibe. This is a really like light, little knit so i thought it would be good for layering throughout the autumn winter season i got a size medium and it was 79.99 so we'll see it's quite like a soft knit in a cute creamy color again that kind of yellowy creamy tone that zara like to do but yeah i thought this would be cute like tucked into like leather trousers leather shorts like that kind of vibe or even just into a pair of jeans i thought this would be a really nice like essential like basic autumn piece okay so this knit fits really well it's very cute nice and soft i have nothing really bad to say about it other than the fact that i'm just not really in love with it i do think that it would work really nicely with like jeans as like a nice easy everyday outfit it would also work really nicely with a pair of leather trousers and heels if i was like going out for a casual dinner this would be a really cute one to wear however i think i already own jumpers that i just love more than this so this just isn't going to be one that i will keep in terms of the sizing very happy with it and the material feels nice enough it's not too itchy or anything like that the length for anyone that is taller that wants to see what the length is like for reference for anyone new here on five foot two this is what the length looks like on me so like a fairly regular fit if you are average height or above but if you're shorter not too long perfect for like tucking in if that is your vibe because that's definitely mine but yeah definitely not a keeper for me and then a couple of other like really easy little pieces that i picked up are this nude really thin little like jersey top i really like this i love the tone of it it's a very neat color i got this in a size small and it was 17.99 and i just thought this would be perfect for tucking into literally anything just one of those really great layering pieces throughout the winter i could have a jumper on over the top of this and you wouldn't even see it i also like the fact that it's like that kind of like neutral tone so you might always be able to see this if it was like a little bit higher than my like jumper neckline and i'm wearing a hoodie over the top you might not even really be able to notice that this is on underneath so it felt like quite a discreet little layering piece it feels very thin like it might be quite sheer so nude bra probably going to be an essential underneath and it's like this like ribbed texture which is cute just a really nice easy piece and i feel like i'll get so much wear out of it also really nice to have something like this that is in fact a t-shirt and not a body because i have a lot of things like this but in bodies and sometimes you just don't want to be wearing a body it's a very rare occasion but it does happen okay so this is the nude little jumper it is so lightweight really nice and thin great for layering over the autumn and winter season i really like the rib texture of it it's just like a little bit of detailing but nothing too much i love the tone of it it is so gorgeous i think it really works quite well with my skin tone but i think this will work well on a lot of people as well it's just brown enough to i think work for like a lot of different skin tones it's quite a regular length i would say it comes down to about here on me so nothing too crops and nothing too awkward it will tuck really really well into most like trousers jeans that kind of thing in terms of the fit it fits really nicely it's not super tight but it's not too loose at all so very very happy with the fit it's really cute i've just paired it with my top shop mom jeans which i really like and my major trainers and this is just a really nice simple kind of easy way to wear it but i can layer this under so many things like leather trousers black trousers jeans literally anything this will go with everything i just think it's such 
a great little piece to have in my wardrobe and a really nice one for when I want to wear like my nude bodies. But it's just one of those days where it's not appropriate to be wearing a body because let's face it, they are sometimes a bit of a pain if you need to pee a lot. So on a day like that, I think this would be perfect. I also really love the positioning of the neck on it. It's just, it's not high, but it's high enough. It's really nice and flattering. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I'm very, very happy with it. Then we also have this little jumper i think i picked this up in black as well again just a really nice this one's like more of a jumper than a long sleeve t-shirt this is in a size small 19.99 and it's like a light knitted jumper but like a real like fine knit but again like a really easy one for like layering throughout autumn winter it's in this gorgeous like neutral kind of tone which i really like just a really nice easy piece to have in my wardrobe it has little buttons here. I actually have a similar one from last year, but it had a real like high roll neck. I really like the fact that this is just a normal brown neck. It suits me so much better. Like roll necks are very, very annoying. So yeah, excited to, to try that on. This and the previous long sleeve t-shirt, I just know are gonna be such staples in my wardrobe. So I'm really excited to have them. So I'm really not sure on this jumper. I'm gonna need your help in deciding because I can't tell if this color just really like washes me out or does it pop, I'm really not sure. In terms of like the overall bit of it, it's nice. I would say like a little bit, big ideally like i would quite like it as like a layering piece so i would like it to be a bit more tight and it does kind of like ripple up a little bit this is why i like bodies because they're kind of like made to be even if they are a little bit big on you they are kind of like made to like always stay smooth over your body if that makes sense whereas tops like these don't if they're not very very tight so maybe i need to go down a size i think it looks more apparent as well on a lighter colored jumper than it will on a black jumper if a black jumper has a little bit of excess material you can't really tell as much you could all help me out because i'm just not sure if this color looks as good on me as the other like new layering jumper in this video so if you can let me know whether i should keep the two should i keep this one should i send this one back let me know. I've just paired it with my Topshop mom jeans. I don't think there is a video on my channel at the moment where these jeans do not feature. I'm very much enjoying them. But yeah, undecided on this one, so let me know what you think. And then we have it in black, which is just an absolute staple in life. Again, this will be one of those items that I just wear and wear and wear until it like falls apart and I'll sew the holes back up and I'll wear it and wear it and wear it. And again, it has so many like styling possibilities in my wardrobe throughout autumn winter. Like I know I would wear this with the trackies that I'm wearing on the bottom half right now, but I would also wear it with like the next item that is coming up. So just a really easy, versatile piece for autumn winter. These feel so soft as well. I really like them. I'm very happy with this purchase. Again, I got a size small and it was 19.99 and yeah, it has the little buttons which is like literally the only thing that is not simple about this but you could easily i reckon you could easily like take them off if you wanted or just roll the sleeves up which is what i normally do and you can't see them so this is the black knit i like it i'm very happy with it similarly to the nude one i would say this could do with being a little bit smaller on me just to provide like the best layering experience and also like the best tucking in experience i think it could definitely do with being a little bit smaller i think especially this one will work perfectly both on a daytime and an evening basis i'll really be able to stress it up or dress it down. For me, this is very, very versatile. If I was going to keep one of the two, I would obviously opt for the black. So yeah, I might order a couple of these as well, just to have a couple of really good basics on the go. I think these will be such an integral part of my autumn winter wardrobe. I had a few last year that were like thinner and I would say that the quality wasn't as good. I will still wear them so much this year, but it will be quite nice to have like a couple of good ones, almost like fancier ones on the go for if I am actually like doing something work related and want to look like super polished oh and also just for reference this is the jumper tucked in to the shorts i've also paired it with my zara khaki boots which i'm just loving so much at the moment i really like the top tucked into the shorts i think everything could do with being a little bit smaller but once i've got that bang on i think this outfit is going to be really great and a really nice one for every day throughout the early autumn season and then we get to like my favorite item of the video i am so excited for these i really hope they fit I really hope they fit. I got these in a size small. They were $25.99 and it's a pair of really simple leather shorts. They don't have a tie waist, so this feels like a real risk for me, but if they bang, they will bang because I find that when something fits me on the waist and then doesn't have like any pockets or a tie waist, the silhouette is really, really great. But if it goes wrong, it will just go really wrong. I would love to know, like, can you get a pair of shorts like this, like this material, can you get them altered? Because sometimes I just feel like the band on the waist for me just needs to be in a little bit more, but with the same amount of like material over the hip if that makes sense so i'd love to know if these don't fit if these don't bang can i get them altered 
is that possible i'm really excited to potentially have these in my wardrobe these look so good like I, I love a pair of leather shorts i've loved them for years they look so great with an ankle boot throughout like autumn with a shirt on the top half it's just like the perfect like dressy but not too dressy little outfit but you can really style them up for a night out if you want i have a top next that will go really nicely with these for like a night out so i think i'm going to take them to london with me and maybe wear them to dinner i'm not sure but then we'll work really nicely during the day with like boots and you know a little jumper like this and then a blazer over the top trench coat or like a longer coat i could even do a midi like long cardigan over the top these are just so so versatile so praying to the clothing zara clothing gods that these look good i mean i will make them look good if i have to make them look good to illustrate the vibe i wanted i will just pin them with a hair clip at the back but obviously not practical for actual real life anyway the next item is this little kind of bralette this is so cute they have these two paired together on the zara website one of the very few times that i will take zara styling advice but this looked really really cute with the shorts on the bottom i love like the structure of it it's got actual like wiring on the kind of like bra bit and then the little like dip in the middle i just think it's so cute i got this in a size small it was 19.99 and i thought this would look amazing with just maybe my white trousers on like nights out with like a satin midi skirt even with jeans like this is such a versatile piece the leather shorts are such a versatile piece as well so you can't go wrong with them together that outfit would also look very cute with this shirt over the top as well i'm just saying so yeah fingers crossed this fits i think it'll fit really nicely i'm really excited to put that outfit together i think it'll be really great for a night out with like a little pair of heels so cute laser over the top like over my shoulder little sleek bun it's gonna be so cute okay so this top it fits the sizing is right but it is a snug fit there is literally no like elastication going on in this top at all so it is very difficult to get on over your head if you're going out and you need to put it on put it on before you do your hair and makeup because this top will mess that up immediately my bun now looks very disheveled thanks to this top really should have been like a zip fastening on the side or something like that even on the back anywhere just to make our lives easier you know that would have been great but it works really nicely with the shorts i think the shorts could do with being a little bit smaller i got them in a small and there is there's a lot of room there's room for like a food baby and more for me so i will be ordering these in a smaller size and then i think that, that would like perfect this look a little bit more because when something doesn't fit right and it's a bit big it does just look a bit off so i think having it cinched in would just really complete the look but overall the two pair very nicely together i do wish that it hadn't been such a struggle to get in to the small it does feel like it is made for more of a an athletic silhouette rather than my body i would say if you're ordering and you're maybe in between sizes to definitely go up a size with this one if you don't want to fight to get into it and you would like a little bit more room in the chest area for example i feel like i could definitely do with a little bit more coverage there and the, it has actual like wiring and i don't really feel like it's sitting exactly right if that makes sense however it was very affordable so i can't really complain too much and it actually fits really well in most other aspects like the straps normally those are an aspect of a top that i really struggle with normally i have way too much strap going on and even if something fits perfectly on the body the straps are falling off of me that's not happening in this case which is absolutely fantastic and it does work really nicely as i'd hoped with the leather shorts which is great i've just paired the duo with a little pair of sandals these are old from top shop but i do think a pair of like ankle boots like my croc black ankle boots could work really nicely then with a blazer over the top I actually have a blazer here just thrown over your shoulders if you're on your way to dinner like you're going from like a cab to a restaurant thrown over your shoulders could be really really cute also works really nicely if you actually want to put it on as well i have to say i think i'd probably be leaning more towards wearing this outfit with croc boots than sandals which is rare for me because normally with a pair of shorts i find shorts really like cut your leg off a lot and can make you look a lot shorter so for me being very vertically challenged i like to have normally a pair of sandals or a pair of heels that really elongate the leg on a pair of ankle boots will normally like really cut my leg off again at the ankle and then you have the shorts doing the same at the top and it doesn't normally look great but actually i would say on this occasion i would probably be leaning more towards having an ankle boot with this but if you're like me and you're very conscious on elongating the leg then sandals do work really well as well i would maybe say to go for a slightly higher pair than i've got on right now i just feel like they're not really doing the look justice as much as i'd like so i'm going to show you what it looks like with a pair of boots so i've gone for the green boots again for a couple of reasons number one there are sock boots that so they work really well at elongating a silhouette 
but also the khaki tone of them it is a little bit softer than going for a black boot and because it's a little bit softer it's not as jarring and it doesn't cut my leg off in the same way as a pair of like black ankle boots would because they're very stark it's quite a contrast to the rest of my leg whereas the khaki kind of especially with my skin tone blends a little bit better so that's always something that you can look into as well it's like a slightly softer color of boot even like a little brown sock boot something to level out what's going on on the top half but still streamline the silhouette so that is it for my little zara haul today i really hope you guys enjoyed this one as always let me know what you think i should keep or return in the comments below and please subscribe if you are new i do lots of videos like this what i wore in a week's vlogs the whole shebang so if you enjoyed this make sure you subscribe and for those of you that are already subscribed i hope you love this video as always and you're all having a great day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye Thank you.